Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. I truly mean that. I seriously want your day to be amazing. I know today is going to start out really great for me because I love unboxing snakes. You guys know it's like Christmas. It's basically Christmas in September, if you know what I mean. We've got a big shipment, a lot of snakes. I mean a ton of snakes. I think it's like $35,000 worth of snakes that we got coming in. So what do you say we just head over, grab those boxes, do the unboxing, and see what amazing animals we got today. Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys? Oh, yeah, we got a couple snakes to unbox here. Yeah, I'd say that uh, Lori ordered a bunch of snakes. So what do you say we go ahead and just uh, open each of these boxes separately? Because obviously we we can't open them all together. So let's go ahead and put these over here. Oh, all right. Get this. And of course, this is a lot of snakes. So we're going to have a mega unboxing here, if you don't mind. And to start, of course, you know I'm going to order some albino ball pythons. That's right, a bunch of little albino ball pythons. Now you guys remember, we've hatched quite a few albino ball pythons this year, but the fact is they're so popular and so high in demand, it doesn't matter how many we hatch, we always need more. So my good friend that I buy from every single year always has amazing quality animals. Uh, I bought a bunch of albino ball pythons. So this is one bag. I'm not sure how many bags of albino ball pythons there are, to be totally honest with you. If Lori did the order, I just kind of glanced at it for a second. These should be pretty. Oh, they are pretty. I love these. Again, I don't produce these. For some reason, I never produce them, but they are beautiful, and these are banana lesser ball pythons. Look at how gorgeous they are. That combination together, banana and lesser together, are absolutely wonderful. So uh, again, only a couple of these banana lessers, but uh, I was happy to get them because again, for some reason we don't make that combination. Again, I don't know why. I mean, we have lessers, we have bananas, we just haven't really put them together. Usually it's just because I have other things to do with those animals and so on like that. For people that are like, I want a pet snake, I want a ball python, I don't really want a normal ball python. These are actually pastel ball pythons. So again, one step up from our normal. When you get into single gene animals like pastel, sinnies, you know, again, lessers, bananas, all that type of stuff. They're single gene animals, and those single gene animals are great, beautiful snakes. If you want something that's just a little bit better than a normal, not that normals are bad by any stretch of the imagination. Again, another single gene animal right here. These are Mojave ball pythons, and just look at how gorgeous they are. You know, these things sell so quick. I mean, these things, when they do get up on the website, they go so fast. So, by the way, if you guys are interested in some of these guys, and I never do sales pitch stuff on the vlog, that's not what this vlog is about, but you can always call us or go on bhbreptiles.com and get on a waiting list too. So if you see something like, oh my gosh, Brian, I really wanted a Mojave ball python, you get on the waiting list, and then when they're ready to go, we call you, you get the first right of refusal. There's a ton of people to buy great snakes from, so you don't have to buy them from us. I mean, we just always have them here if you guys need them. Let's see what we have in this bag. Okay, it looks like some more pastels, but it looks like these these pastels have actually shed, so at least some of them have shed. And you can kind of see, again, with the shed, just how absolutely gorgeous they are. I mean, it's just a really pretty snake, right? First box down, uh, pretty average stuff, you know, the stuff that I was looking for. I know we have some bangers in this shipment, too. So let's move on to box number two. Box number two! All right, now we're getting into some, some juice right here, guys. Let's check this out. Woo! Okay, what do we got here? First off, one of my favorite, all-time favorite ball python morphs, and I know I say that a lot, but this is really the truth. This is a GHI Mojave ball python. Again, that is a GHI and a Mojave mix, and it makes this great, just sooty, dark animal absolutely wonderful. And then these guys here, I'm trying to see what these guys are. There's a Pastel Enchi Lesser. That would be this one right here. And then there's a Banana Mojave. Oh, these two are Banana Mojaves right here. So we got Banana Mojaves, we got a Banana Enchi Lesser, and then my absolute favorite here, a GHI Mojave. And then you get into like the Ghost GHI Mojaves. Ooh, doggy. I tell you what, those things are gorgeous. And again, it's a relatively simple animal to, to make, right? It's a Lelic between two incomplete dominants, the GHI and the Mojave. And I hope that you guys enjoy opening bags as much as I do, or watching me open bags, because uh, it is absolutely amazing. And again, this is a, a staple animal that you have to have, right? I mean, blue-eyed leucistics, white snakes, blue eyes, gorgeous animals. I will, I need as many of these as I can get because it doesn't matter how many I put on the shelf, they always sell every single one of them. Because listen, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous snake, or these are gorgeous, gorgeous snakes. Wow, I tell you what, I love them. And then, oh, every year I love, yeah, we produce some of these, but again, I keep saying it, but look at that. Banana sinnies. 
unbelievable. Look at the purple in contrast in these animals. Whoo, doggy, those are beauties too. And there's some kind of polymorphism. Some are more pretty than others. These ones are rippers. I mean, holy moly. I tell you, that is a beautiful snake. And that's kind of where I kind of got the whole Barney ball idea, right? Is when I started seeing that dark morph with bananas, the purple, solid purple snake. Again, hasn't worked out yet, but I'm gonna still get there. I'm telling you what, I promise you, I'm gonna one day produce a solid, giant purple ball python that's gonna blow everyone away. It may take me 100 years, but before I die, I'm gonna have that snake, I guarantee you that. Okay, what do we have here? We actually have, again, a couple nice little things. This is actually bumblebee ball pythons. Beautiful morph. I mean, when bumblebees were first produced by Kevin over at Nerd years ago, this was kind of like the pinnacle, right? People were like, oh my gosh, just a two gene animal. Pastel and a spider works well. And then we have a couple more banana sinis in this clutch too, right here. Absolutely gorgeous. So uh, good animals. Again, loving the fact that we're getting stuff that I know is going to be super popular. Super good pet trade animals. I don't produce snakes to produce like really high end expensive animals. I breed snakes that you guys can afford because I think it's amazing. I want every, hey, listen, I want every household in America to own a snake. Is that too much to ask for? Probably. Okay, so what do we have here? You know what, I tell you what, I like this combination right here. Take a look at these. These are actually leopard spiders. And I think that's one of the cooler kind of combos, to be honest with you. Leopard clowns are great, but leopard spiders, there's just something about them. That two combinations go together, absolutely wonderful. And then we just have some more bananas, just normal bananas. I know we ordered bananas in this shipment because we wanted to get a bunch of bananas. Look at that. We actually have some albino black pastels right here, albino black pastels. And then there's just a couple albinos and then an actual banana black pastel. This isn't the banana cine, this is the black pastel. So it's kind of cool to see this co this combo right here. You got albino black pastels and then banana black pastels. Really cool. And then of course, just a couple normal albinos. I continue to add more albinos. So that wraps up box number two. But guess what guys? We still have two more boxes to go. All right, box number three. Let's see what we got. Gosh, these things are so great. Again, more banana sinis. We got a lot of banana sinis. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my goodness, great. It doesn't matter how many times I open them up. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, these things are great. Let's go ahead and check this out. Looks like we have a bunch of different stuff. Oh my gosh, I love these. First off, hypo sinny. Unbelievable. Recessive mutation of hypo. The incomplete dominant of sinny. Absolutely incredible. And then I love these things here. These are actually what they call invisibles, right? So they're a blue-eyed leucistic-ish type looking animal, but you can still see the pattern on them. And they are absolutely wonderful. We had these last year and uh, I absolutely love these things. As a matter of fact, I wanted to keep a couple last year and Lori sold them on me. So maybe I'll have to sneak a couple of these aside and and not let Lori see them this year and stick them on the shelf and raise them up because they're super cool. I mean, it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? You've got the blue-eyed leucistic, that white, beautiful snake, but then you still have the pattern and they look really cool. So I'm super happy we got those. This is another animal I might keep back a couple of, to be honest with you. Again, not a super crazy thing, but a, a mutation that a lot of people have really been working on. So first off, we have a couple super cinnies that of course are the super cinnamons, which are the, the kind of black snake. This one has a really cool little paradoxing spot on it, but these are cool, kind of similar. Remember when we produced the Sumas, or produced that, that cinnamon black pastel? Very similar, dark, they, sometimes they call these eight ball pythons as well, but these guys here are pretty cool. These are pastel spot nose ball pythons. So the spot nose is an incomplete dominant that's making a lot of really cool clown mutations. I mean, the Batman and all that stuff happens to do with the, the spot nose, right? So uh, we don't have hardly any spot nose in our collection. So I'm thinking I might keep a couple of these females, just raise them up, just to breed them into other things because again, that's definitely an area that we're weak on at BHB is spot nose, to be honest with you. So let's see if we have anything else different here. It looks like a couple more bags of bananas. So uh, I think we're done with this box. One more box to go. And last box to go. What do we have in this box? I love unboxing. I hope you guys do too. All right, where we got? These are actually super Russos, right? So another complex of the blue eyed leucistic. Again, Lesser's, Mojave's, Russos, uh, Specials, you know, all these things can produce blue eyed leucistic ball pythons. And each one's a little bit different, right? Well, these are the super Russos, really, really, I mean, just paddleless, no pattern on them. 
really stark white, really good leucistics for sure. So we have a couple different mutations of leucistics that we got in this particular shipment. Ooh, nice. What do we have here? Okay, so we have, this is the first one right here. This is actually really pretty. This is a bumblebee calico. So again, that pastel calico spider just goes so well together because the spider gene already has a lot of white up in the sides. And that thing's, look at that thing's head pattern right there. Ooh, I tell you, that almost looks like an Enchi. It looks like a bumblebee Enchi calico, to be honest with you. Then we have these guys here, which are GHIs, which is that really super busy one. And remember that GHO Mojave? This is the GHI part. You breathe this into Mojave, you can produce those. And then lastly, we've got these, which are pretty cool. These are actually a recessive mutation called Ultramel. So it's similar to the caramel ball python, but these aren't compatible with the caramel. So these are ultramel, really beautiful snakes. We usually get ultramel pinstripes each year, and they are absolutely incredible. So those are beauties for sure. All right, two more bags, guys, and we are done for the unboxing. I know it's been a long unboxing one, but there's been some really cool stuff in here, and I love it. I tell you what, I'm just stoked to have these animals, and look at that, just another bunch of albino ball pythons right here. Really high contrast. Just look at how high contrast that one is. Oh my goodness, that thing is a ripper. Woo, look at the head even on that with that orange. Oh my goodness, that thing is beautiful. Just some more albino ball pythons. I definitely, uh, we loaded up on albino ball pythons. There's no doubt about that. This is so cool, guys. Remember, you know, a few weeks from now, all these things are gonna be available. It's gonna be so cool. Of course, minus the ones I decide to keep or the ones I hide from Lori because you know if I decide to keep stuff, Lori's just gonna sell it because that's what she does. So I have to really be smart about hiding it in the right spot. So then lastly, we have, let's see what we got going on here. Looks like we have, what do we have here? We got banana. So we have some banana enchies, which are really beautiful right here. Really, you know, the banana and the enchi go together super, super well. And then we have one little amaretto, which is actually the flame vanilla cream style, right? So this is a flame and a vanilla. And the fire version of this would be called the vanilla cream, but these are called amaretti's because they're the fire version. Really beautiful snakes, I mean, really crazy. So, and then a bunch of banana enchies, and that is it for unboxing. Holy moly, that's a lot of snakes. It's a lot of money. 35 grand worth of snakes right here, guys. So uh, that was pretty fun. I mean, it's a way to spend, uh, you know, get yourself a new truck. Uh, Brian, should I get a truck? No, let's just buy some snakes. So there it is, unboxing finished. I was actually thinking about hopping in the uh, tub with uh, Bowser and uh, pulling him out and actually getting Upusuku in there with me. I, I've, I've never actually done this before. She's, she's usually really, she loves water a lot. You can always tell because she loves sitting in her, in her water bowl. But that water isn't deep enough to where she's just swimming around. And I really want to, I'm really sort of curious if she's gonna be kinda of like Elvis, where she hops in and just takes naturally to it and just starts swimming and does really well, or sinks like a rock and goes to the bottom. So I'm gonna actually get in there with her to make sure that doesn't happen, at least in the, in, in the realm that she could be in danger. So uh, I'm gonna be lifeguard Bruce and have my little baby and I'm gonna let her go in on the water. So let's get it doing. Oh my God, did you guys see that? That was pretty awesome. I, I was really excited to actually get an opportunity to get her get in the water with her and actually play with her a little bit. And man, she, she, man, 
she she wasn't really too fond of actually getting in the water right away. I think the biggest thing there is that uh, she may she may not really like feel too comfortable with like a deeper water water place. So maybe something where she can have a re regular place to go rest and then get off and then rest and then get off. She might actually really really like it. But uh, either way though, man, I had such a great time with you, baby. You're so good. She's such a great animal, and and getting her opportunities like this to exercise is always 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 great. And it's definitely good stimulus for her. So it's a, and, and honestly a little bit for me. I absolutely always love unboxing snakes. There were some amazing snakes. They'll be up on the website soon, so keep an eye on, on that. If you guys enjoyed unboxing, here's a playlist right over here that you can watch all kinds of unboxing. Up in this corner here, you guys know I've been working on the podcast room. You can subscribe to the Checking In podcast channel. On this side, subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.